Hello, everyone. Uh, does everyone hear me? Okay. It's a, our first time with Airmit, so I hope everything goes well. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay, so uh, hello, we are uh, RSG Spain and this is our eighth uh, symposium. We are very glad to be here today. <laughs> and there has been two years since our last uh, symposium in, in Madrid. And I'm very, very glad to be here today, even if we are online, but <laughs> this is the, the best uh, option for everyone. Uh, we have two days uh, ahead of us, uh, full of science, uh, networking, and we hope uh, fun. Uh, today we start with a great and meet uh, session, as you uh, know, for the our schedule, and we are going to try to know each other uh, better, and, and we're trying to uh, to know more about how bioinformaticians uh, work and, and study in our country. Tomorrow we are going to have our scientific uh, sessions with two keynotes and, and our uh, oral communications and, and stuff. Also, we are going to have prizes for our best uh, communication and, and poster. So uh, stay focused on the Congress because we are going to have a, a quiz also uh, as a surprise, uh, as a final um, in the as a final event in the symposium, and we're going to have prizes for that uh, also. So thank you, thank you very much for everyone to be here today, and thank you uh, to our sponsors, the IMB, the Students Council, and and the INITL uh, app uh, for allowing us to be uh, here today and 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 be able to 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 organize this symposium. Uh, so our first session is going to be a presentation of our RSG Spain and how we're organized. So we are starting now. I think the video is going to take maybe a moment to load, so be patient. And if you have any question or anything, you can use the, the chat or, or the Q&A option in, in Admit. And anything you, you need, please contact us and we are here available for all of you. Everyone, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. I'm uh, Sarah Monzon and I'm the, the current uh, RSG Spain general leader um, or president, as you uh, want to, to say it. And during this first session, we are going to introduce our, ourselves. We are uh, RSG Spain, as you all may know. Uh, you can contact us uh, and know more information about us using our social media. Uh, we have Twitter, our email, and our new website that we are going to, to introduce uh, today. Anything you, you need, please uh, contact us using any of these options. We currently uh, are this um, general board and we are organized into a uh, president and secretary, some members and also uh, some members that uh, perform and, and take care of some of the task forces like the, a web manager, a designer, our social media manager, our welcome manager, etc. And of course, our, uh, our node leaders in, that take uh, care of some of the local uh, nodes in some of the regions of, of Spain. Each year we call for new volunteers and we update our board. So you are always welcome to participate and join us. As you may know, we are currently, um, from the beginning, part of the ISCB uh, Council uh, RSG program. Uh, I, I is, uh, for those that um, maybe don't know about this, ISCB is the International Society of Computational Biology. And this is an association that gathers by informaticians around the world. It is uh, an international, so all of the world uh, is a member of this international uh, association. The ISCB uh, has a student council whose mission is to promote the de development of the next generation of computational biologists. It's the st um, student uh, group of the, the ISCB. Um, 
One of the activities is to promote uh, and maintain the RSG program. As it, this is an international um, society and it, there is a need uh, to organize uh, the program into local uh, regional nodes. Um, this is uh, the RSG program uh, aims, uh, aim is to promote the interaction among the students pursuing research in the field of bioinformatics and uh, computational biology. Of the past few years, the Student Council has successfully established 26 RSGs uh, in, in 26 uh, countries uh, around all the globe, uh, is, these are, uh, globally, and the number is on a steady rise. It's um, GEAR, uh, a new RSG program uh, usually uh, starts. Presently, uh, the RSGs uh, comprise more than 1,050 uh, members across the world. RSGs uh, conduct regional events and meetings like this one to promote the professional development of students. RSGs also aim to serve as the bridge between the local industry and academia by providing career opportunities for the students. RSG program in, in the ISTV Student Council started in 2006, but it wasn't until 2010 uh, that RSG uh, Spain uh, was uh, uh, created. Uh, RSG Spain started uh, when Lorena Pantano, a PhD student at, at the time, uh, discovered the existence of the ISTV uh, Student Council in Boston and also discovered the, the RSG program. Almost by herself, uh, she decided to start uh, the Spanish uh, RSG. And soon after, she managed to convince some of the, their, uh, her colleagues, uh, other PhD students uh, at the time, like Salvador Capella, uh, to join that venture. And uh, Salvador Capella is uh, now our, our faculty uh, advisor. That same year, uh, the first student symposium took place as a president senior uh, session of the Jornadas de, de Bioinformatica, and it was organized together with Portugal and, and North Africa uh, regional student uh, groups. Since 2010, we have organized several student uh, symposiums like, like this one every year or uh, every uh, two years. As I uh, already said, in Malaga in 2010, 2008 and 12 in Barcelona, also together with Portugal and North Africa that year, next in Sevilla in 2014, in Barcelona in 2016, uh, in Barcelona in 2017, Granada 2018, uh, and from that year, every year we have organized uh, one of them. The last one was in, in Madrid uh, in October uh, 2019, and it was in, in Madrid. And in 2020, we didn't organize uh, a student symposium here in space, but uh, this was because if we helped organize the sixth European Student Council Symposium. It was supposed to be in Sitges in Barcelona, but due to the to the COVID-19 pandemic, it was uh, finally uh, uh, online. Speaking a bit more, uh, our last event in 2019, uh, the 7th Bioinformatics Student Symposium uh, was organized by RSG Spain and co-organized by the IMB uh, and the CBGP. Um, um, it, that is one of the centers of, uh, of INEA here in Spain. This was our last presidential uh, event and we were able to join together more than uh, 90 uh, students in bioinformatics uh, from around Spain. Uh, the conference was uh, really successful and everyone uh, had uh, a great time and it was held on, on 17th October uh, in Madrid. Uh, this was a satellite event uh, of the second uh, Jornadas uh, de Bioinformática y Biología Computacional uh, de la Comunidad de, de Madrid, called the Bioinfocam, uh, who's been held this year also two days from now, I, I think. And, um, and that uh, event was organized also by the CBGP uh, that year. 
In this event, uh, we had the chance to have uh, career advices uh, from two keynotes, uh, one from Dr. Uh, Fatima uh, al Sahud and one from Dr. Jaime Huertas. And also, uh, we uh, had 12 oral presentations and, and four uh, flash talks. The event uh, finished with the best oral and um, poster awards, uh, like this one. We are going to have uh, prizes. We will we'll see in the in the program, and we also have a networking uh, event, who was um, presential in in Madrid, uh, followed by an organized uh, dinner uh, for all the the attendants in in Madrid uh, city. It was. Um, really fun and uh, it's the only thing we are not going to have uh, these two years, but <laughs> these two days, sorry, but I think we are going to have a, a really good time with the means we have. Uh, following a little bit about how we are uh, organized, uh, in the beginning most of the members uh, of RG Spain were from Barcelona, but since 2016, we are trying to expand the network to students of other regions of, of Spain. In 2019, RSG Spain's Node idea uh, emerged. We are um, trying to create local RSG nodes with local leaders uh, that will allow us to generate and to meet uh, locally and, uh, and organize events, events in all of the regions of Spain. It started all with uh, Barcelona, the Canary Island, Can Granada and Madrid, which are our current uh, nodes. But now we are trying to look for students uh, from other regions of, of Spain and, and try to, to grow uh, our network. Uh, our hope is to, 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 to achieve to have uh, at least one, one node in its uh, Comunidad Autónoma in, in Spain. Maybe you are lucky and you already work on a study in one of the regions uh, where there is a, a regional node. So if you, if you are in this situation, you can just uh, write to one of our node leaders, to Miguel, uh, the Madrid node leader, Tamara, the Canary Island leader, uh, Adrián uh, from Granada, a uh, node leader, which is called Bioinformatics GRX. Um, and or uh, Monica Carrera, who is the the present leader, the current leader in in Barcelona. Uh, they are all currently in the in the symposium also, so you can just uh, write them with, without any problem, and they will give you more information about uh, anything you want. Uh, if you work or study in a region without a node, of course, you can just uh, join us and join any node that you have uh, near uh, where you live, or uh, much better, uh, we want uh, you to create and help us to create new local nodes. Um, you only need to contact us and, and introduce yourself. Uh, and what would we expect from you? Mm, it's really easy. You just have to gather, uh, gather all your colleagues, your classmates, anything you, anyone you know um, uh, that works in bioinformatics, and meet. Uh, we want you to to meet, and and because we want to to have the the greatest bioinformatics network we can possibly uh, achieve. That's uh, our main goal. Um, this, um, you, if you create a note and, and you participate, you will have the opportunity to participate in our monthly general meetings and you could collaborate in, collaborate in any of the activities that we are, that we are uh, having at the time and I'm going to talk about uh, some of them uh, now. Um, also, you can always uh, propose new, one, new, new activities and and in general, you can collaborate with, with anything that we are uh, doing at the moment. Our main resources and activities uh, are uh, mainly uh, monthly, local and, and general meetings that are mostly online, uh, sometimes in, in person when there wasn't a, a pandemic uh, going on, but uh, we would like to, to go back to, to in-person meetings uh, when we can. 
Um, here we uh, meet and we organize the, the new projects and share useful information with the other members. We also keep an updated feed of uh, bioinformatics uh, info on Twitter and, and we share uh, useful information with all the other members. Uh, also, we are uh, willing to organize or, or try to create new ideas uh, to organize new workshop or social networking uh, events. And of course, we uh, organize and keep doing the scientific sessions uh, of, in the student symposium where we can uh, share our research uh, projects and, and results. One of our main activities and one we are really proud of uh, last year has been redesigning our website. Thanks to this change, uh, all of our information is more organized and accessible, and we have the opportunity to integrate some of our new activities in order to reach out to more students. This is the link to our website, where we hope you'll find everything you need to know about us and our activities. Also, we are very active in Twitter, as I already mentioned, and we use our account to retweet developers and to promote bioinformaticians' profiles using our uh, hashtag MeetAbioinformatician. If you'd like to be featured, please contact us with a small bio and a photo. And moreover, we've just reborn our YouTube channel so we can promote ourselves and our activities and bring back some old activities as bioinformaticians interviews so we can know more about what bioinformaticians do on, on, our, daily, on our daily basis. If you are interested, please uh, subscribe to our channel. I'm going like a YouTuber now. Uh, and stay tuned. Uh, we have only started this project and, and we hope we can uh, create more content uh, soon. And also, as I've been, uh, I've been mentioning all of the, the, the presentation, if you want to participate in this and if you want to be interviewed or maybe you want to you want, you, you know someone that, that you want to ask uh, to interview, um, please contact us and, and tell us your idea. It will be uh, really welcome. Uh, anything you would like to 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 do, or 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 anything you would like us uh, to do. Uh, also, one I think this is one of the the, the ideas or project that I like the the most. We are uh, also have, uh, we also have be, uh, been working on featured articles uh, in order to create content on on our website. Following the topic, if the bioinformatician uh, talks, we have a personal talks where uh, we have a series of articles um, where you can. Uh, that you can use to, to tell about what you are working on, how is your working environment, and maybe some of the feelings that you may you may have if you are a lonely by informaticians in a in a lab group, um, anything you you want to to tell us that, that kinds of feelings that that we all um, feel uh, once or or twice or, or a lot of times in in a while. Uh, with these articles, you can share your experience with a personal touch, as I already said, and, and be read by students and professionals that uh, will totally uh, relate to, to your situation. Uh, this is one, uh, two of the, our examples, uh, one uh, written by, by Sarai, in how uh, how uh, she experienced as an informatician the, the quarantine, uh, working on, on, on COVID-19, uh, pandemia and, and viral sequencing, and one from, from Eva, who tells us uh, her personal experience on, on bioinformatics and, and how she, she gets here. Uh, another of our feature series is under the hashtag tutorials. And here we can, anyone that has worked uh, or studied on something uh, they can share, they can write a, a small article with documentation, um, some tips uh, that uh, may uh, help other people to introduce uh, themselves in any 
possible topics related to, to bioinformatics. Um, here you can read articles about pandas, Jupyter notebooks, or any bioinformaticians uh, stuff. Uh, maybe you have an IDE you like and you want to tell us uh, what you like it. Uh, maybe you are an R person or a Python person. Uh, you want to tell us why and, and how did you learn uh, some of them. Uh, you can come to our website and, and read uh, about some of this and um, please uh, participate if you have anything you've been working recently uh, on and you want to share uh, we are uh, collecting this kind of, of articles they are really small and, and i think they are really cool um, in general <laughs> i've been asking you to participate in any of this and and do you want to participate in, if you want to participate in any of this and uh, maybe you have a personal experience as bioinformatician you want to share maybe you want to be interviewed and so you know uh, each of us uh, know each other better or maybe uh, some uh, students that are not uh, sure if you want to to study bioinformatics or or, or create or start a career in bioinformatics um, maybe i'm sure they will be it will be very helpful to to hear about some of us that are already working in, in this field or maybe you have worked uh, as I already said uh, on something you can make a tutorial of and you want to share uh, please uh, reach us and, and tell us your ideas uh, you are uh, always collecting all kind of ideas you, you want to, to share if you want to get all the information about all of these activities and, and keep uh, and keep a feed of, of our, all of uh, our activities, uh, you can become a member of RSG uh, Spain. Currently, it's free to become a, a member, and you'll just get access to our communication channels, maybe uh, mainly using email and, and Slack. Uh, you can register using the link to join us in, in our website and you'll be included in our, all of our communication channels. And also, if you want to participate in some more, just uh, write us. Uh, finally, another exciting news uh, we want to, to share is the creation, the recently creation of the Bioinformatics Professional Society, it's a big uh, that has uh, just uh, started a, a few months ago. Uh, as all uh, we here uh, may know, uh, bioinformatics is a new discipline that has fiercely bounced into science, enterprise and medical fields. And also, uh, as you, we are going to see in, in the next session, new professional profiles with different expertises uh, had emerged due to the situation. CEBIC uh, borns with the aim to create professional networks to meet, discuss, and work together to protect and evolve the bioinformaticians' careers. In 2019, due to the huge development of bioinformatics in Spain, with an increased uh, growth of uh, new uh, bioinformatics profession, bioinformaticians uh, in Spain, working on bioinformatics in, uh, here in this country, an opportunity and a need to create a CEVIC uh, appear. The journey to building CEVIC, as we had to join a lot of different professionals in different regions, has lasted almost uh, two years. RSG Spain has been involved uh, since the beginning. Last April, the CEVIC uh, was officially born, being uh, RSG Spain uh, president, uh, one of the members uh, of, the, of the board. And currently, we are involved in the development of the website, and we are starting to uh, the member. Uh, we are starting to recruit uh, new members. Becoming a civic member will come uh, with great benefits. So we uh, encourage uh, each of you to to become a, a member of of, of civic. Uh, for example, you will have uh, event discounts for, for bioinformaticians events like congresses, courses, uh, symposiums, etc. Uh, you will have the, the opportunity to, to work uh, on different work groups for discussing and making decisions about important issues like uh, the future of clinical bioinformatics, uh, how to, 
to create new educational paths uh, for bioinformaticians. Uh, you will have privileged access to job offers and, and the most important of, of all uh, of these uh, reasons to become a member is the huge networking opportunities you are going to have with all the bioinformatics um, professionals in, in Spain. Uh, RIT Spain is going to, to, to start to be the student council of, uh, of uh, CEBIC here in, in Spain. And if you can uh, formally join uh, CEBIC, you can use the, the Google form, uh, directly the Google form uh, uh, here in the link, or you can use the, the website where you can uh, find the link. Uh, the CEBIC registration comes uh, with a fee of 50 euros for professional, uh, 50 euros per year for professional members uh, called numerarios and a reduced uh, fee of 25 euros per year for a student member uh, that can uh, officially justify that they are students uh, using their uh, tuition documents from the university or, or whatever. So we really encourage you to, to to become a member of, of CEBIC and also RGSP. Uh, finally, uh, we are going to continue this session uh, where uh, each of the, the local nodes uh, leaders are going to present the activities that are uh, organizing or, or that have organized in each of the, the local nodes. We are starting with uh, Monica Cabrera from, from Barcelona. She's the local need of Barcelona and I leave you with, with her. Thank you very much for the nice introduction and hi everyone here attending the symposium. As Sara said, I am Monica Cabrera, currently I am the Barcelona Node Coordinator, so let me quickly tell you my personal journey, a fun fact about me, and of course what we do here in Barcelona as part of this community. So I personally started at RSG, as many of you here today, attending a symposium and presenting a flash talk about my PhD thesis. Nevertheless, this symposium, back in 2019, was in person and it was in Madrid, so I had the pleasure to travel to Madrid and meet all the RSG community working in bioinformatics. After that booster of bioinformatic energy, I just got interested in the RSG Barcelona node activities and I ended organizing a panel discussion at the Advancing Computational Biology Conference held in Barcelona at La Pedrera and doing a networking activity to all the bioinformatics students attending that conference. Finally, on 2020, I started as a coordinator of the Barcelona Node and here you can see me doing my first meetings. I'm happy, but the fun fact of me is that this meeting turned to be the last meeting in person with the RG community. So I just got the feeling of the lead entire pandemic years. Nevertheless, there are a lot of ideas to do on 2022 in person. As for example, present your PhD project and discuss further analysis or problems. We all know that sometimes it can be difficult. Also, we will start implementing learning something every month, as for example, new R libraries, Python modules, or techniques as the last one I proposed about IT analysis which is the field I'm working on. So if you are from Barcelona and you would like to participate in these sessions, contact me or Sara and join us. We hope to see you next month in person. Now I would like to present you Adrian, the coordinator of Canada Node. You will see the amazing things they have been doing during the pandemic. And I just hope Barcelona team can do as good as they did just with your help. Your turn, Adrian. the leader of the Granadish node in the south of Spain. Um, let me show you what do we do here. The Granadish node is represented by BioInfo GRX that it was born in 2017. Uh, but as many, as many of us, we needed to, to spend our activities to the online world. And in 2020, we have gathered a great team and since then, we have created a great 
variety of activities that now I'm going to show you. Before anything else, I want to to show you how we have updated our the logo types of uh, our our same or logo and also the one of by uh, of RSH Spain. Uh, before we have a very complex logo, but we have changed it into a mix between the DNA and the microchip base also in the uh, walls of the Alhambra and in this case is an 8 points star and in the case of the RS, uh, RSG logo we try to make more present the Spain, Spanish flag this is a, as a curiosity anyway uh, since we are in the online world, all our activities are in the cloud and in YouTube and in all social media and provided that many people around the world can see our activities. Right now we have more than 2,800 visualizations, more than almost 500 of hours in content and each day more and more subscribers subscribers in YouTube and followers in all our platform platforms. We are especially active in Telegram, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn and we are trying to gather our all audience uh, in, in this core as a forum. Uh, take a look to our website there is the, the QR code so you can access, can access it quicker and you will see all that we have to offer. In, 20, in the last years we created a great variety of different activities and this year we are trying to bring new activities. As you can see uh, we, we have we offer, uh, we announce a lot of job opportunities we have a monthly active activity which is called the Bioinfo Clubs. We have also the round table once a year that where we try to congress um, different people well, uh, how to say uh, very well established bioinformaticians of Spain in the investigation of Spain and also um, one of the students to show their uh, their experience in the Q&A bioinfo training in Spain. We also offer one or two workshops a year, especially in the Congress, Student Congress of in bios, Biomedicines Research in Granada. We also prepare the No More Matildas, uh, that is a tribute to, to the women. Yours, I'll show you quickly what did we did. We participate high, we, uh, we collaborate in the organization of the Made in Bio Congress and of course we also have presence in the European Researchers Night. This year we are trying to bring uh, new activities like the Café Debate, mini tutorials, interviews and uh, we have created an activity that is a uh, learning, uh, bioinformatics learning via uh, gamification for schools and also for special people, no special needs people. Uh, and for us it was a very gratification activity that I'm going to show you next. This is a tribute to the bioinformatics woman, women, many of us you probably know them. Um, I'm not going to say who they are because you probably know them all. And this is a sample of the different activities that we have done this year. As you can see we did uh, nine different clubs, bioinfo clubs, where uh, different researchers, young researchers, they presented their work, their latest paper, or even their latest uh, uh, undergraduate thesis. But we also create a, a more open activity like the roundtable, and these activities that is the 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 training around yeah, an activity around the training in Spain, which I'm going to explain you now a little bit more in deep. Here is the the activity. This activity 
is around a guide that Alberto, uh, our colleague Alberto, did uh, a great job with. Uh, and it's a guide where you find on almost all the university and master's degree that are available in Spain. We try to, well, Alberto try to summarize them in a table. So if you are in doubt or you want to see the catalog, uh, we really recommend you to take a look at it. You can access it quickly in our website or directly in with this uh, QR code. Uh, we are trying to place this activity during the BioInfo days. There, there are some that is almost a week of activities around the, uh, in which the University of Granada encourage um, the young students to to understand what is bioinformatics and offer uh, activities and training to to introduce in in this world. And uh, we hope to do this activity next February. So uh, young researchers that have finished their PhD or they are doing their PhD or even they are postdocs will be uh, gathered around a table and offer all their experience and try to give us some tips and recommendations on what's the way that we have to follow during our training. Um, so the, yes, uh, also, sorry, at the end of the guide, we have uh, gathered uh, a relation of different free courses, links, that you can uh, take a look at them, um, that we think are a great opportunity to uh, introduce yourself uh, to this, this research discipline. During the uh, European Researchers' Night, we, we have two videos, two uh, low-level low divulgation. Uh, I mean, by low-level, I mean that are not very specialized uh, uh, explanations, uh, are more thought as a general divulgation. And of course, this is the gamification learning that we create. That actually, it was uh, the idea of Alba Escalera Balsera and of Raúl also. We 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 see some resources online and in a collective effort of all the all the integrants of Bioinfo GRX, we create a gamification that it was based on creating. Um, different sequences uh, to determine the shape of the hair, the color of the eyes and the color of the, the hair. Uh, the students needed to select or create a code based on, on colors. Each color is translated to a letter and then uh, by a website that we also created uh, we, well, the students could see if they what how it was going to be the person, um, and it was a, a great activity that all the students got quite engaged. Uh, they didn't, they couldn't stop asking us questions, and even the special needs people uh, got really engaged. We, 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 were sh we were shocked because some, some girls, some school girls, asked us where is the website to play more. So we are very happy for that. And we are also happy because the, the girl, this girl here, at least we, we managed for them to, to understand that maybe some of their condition was also caused, uh, given uh, these mutations that sometimes cause illnesses as, as they have. This girl uh, literally asked us, uh, I have uh, two, uh, a disorder of two personalities, a multiple personalities disorder. Could that be possible because I have a different order in my letters? And actually that got us shocked, but we were all at the same time happy because they somehow understand that 
um, the level and the complexity of, of nature. Now these years we are we are have only um, prepared uh, three activities, well four activities so far. That is the uh, bioinfo club, the first uh, course bioinfo club, a uh, workshop. Uh, that is the int introduction to natural language processing with Python. We are also trying to create an informal meeting once a month that is just connect to a Zoom uh, session and speak about anything else while you have a coffee or uh, any other type of drink. I don't know. And we are trying also once a month to upload to our YouTube channel a small tutorial of 20 minutes about a specific topic uh, chosen by the integrants of BioInfo GRX. And to end, to end I'm, I want to, to present us all the team. We are, we are a great team. From, we are like uh, 11, 11 different people, students for, of masters and the PhD that we have get along around our passion that is the bioinformatics. And here, Luis, it was, uh, it's an informatician that is the, the responsible of, of the existence of this association that nowadays are getting uh, quite a, a success. So don't hesitate, please, and follow us in our, our platforms. We announce our, all our activities in all of them. And a quicker or easiest way to follow us will be following us in Eventbrite, which is where we post our activities. And, and you will get uh, the link easiest to register to our activities. Also thanks to our uh, partners that help us during these years to, to be in the online world. That's all. Up to you. Uh, we're going with Madrid Now now uh, with Miguel Julia. I am Miguel Julia, the current leader of RSG Spain, Madrid Now. And I'm going to give you a brief introduction about our uh, node, its history, and the activities that we carry on. And in any case that you are an informatician student or an early career researcher from Madrid and you haven't heard of us before, please, you are very welcome to join us. So, Madrid's node officially started in 2019, with Sarah Monton as its first leader, and it quickly grow in members. As you know, there are several important human health research centers in Madrid, and in those centers there were already some bioinformatics groups and units were established. Uh, our first members came from those units, so there were students and early researchers uh, working in bioinformatics units from the Institute of Health Carlos III, CESIC, and CENIDA. These first members already had some kind of guide and support from other bioinformatician colleagues, in their own groups. But as the word spread, uh, we reached to other institutions where they were more kind of isolated by informaticians, uh, the kinds that are alone, the informatician student that joins a PhD and have no other informatician colleagues who could guide them or help them at any point if they face uh, difficulties doing their work. So for those members especially, I think it's really important to be in a society like this in a note where you can find colleagues with, different, with similar skills and similar problems that can help you to uh, or guide you to, to fix your problems or, to, or find the train you need to, to work. Our members came from uh, all kinds of different backgrounds and we work in different fields and are also in different steps of our career. So we can uh, find we can have brief, uh, really nice discussions and in exchange a lot of information with each other. As the know kept growing, uh, and later with the pandemic, of course, we had to change how we work. So at the beginning, I don't know if you can see my mouse, I hope you do, 
and we started uh, meeting every month in fancy venues like seminar rooms in the, the NEO or the, the SIG and we almost inaugurated the new uh, National Center of Microbiology building with a meeting but that month uh, our meeting was cancelled because of the quarantine so we had to move to different digital platforms it also helped because we were already so many that it was difficult to hold so many people in one room. So right now we meet every month using Zoom or Google Meets and we work and coordinate through Slack and Google Drive. Right now we are over 30 members and in our Slack channel there are 16 active members. So if you join, there will be always someone that can help with any kind of problem. Probably everyone has faced that problem, or someone has faced that problem before. So, uh, finally, we are going to talk about what, what we do in the node. Um, our list of activities has changed a long time and has increased or decreased depending on the moment and on the COVID mostly. So, uh, we started having monthly meetings, as I said before, uh, that we keep doing them today, but instead of a meeting face to face in a fancy place, we just have to do it online. Um, in these meetings, um, we discuss new initi initiatives, the issues that we have to, to work on in the, in the node, and also everyone is welcome to add their own points and concerns in the agenda, and always there is an open questions part in every meeting for every, everyone to expose their needs and concerns. Um, also, we identified some training needs. There were some clusters of, <laughs> of training needs that were identified, and, the, and once we uh, identified enough number of people needing the same training, we tried to find someone, um, usually in the node, that could uh, ha uh, give a seminar and try to explain the basics of, of for example, uh, the first we did was containers. Uh, we also used to exchange uh, job offers. Hopefully, uh, this will be centralized in the new, new in the new website. There is going to be a section for uh, job offers and opportunities. But if not, in research, it's difficult to find a position if it's it doesn't circulate and it doesn't reach you. Uh, we also used to give career advice, as we said, that uh, we have different people in different steps of their of their careers. So you can always ask someone else uh, what you can do next, or if there is an opportunity, or what what you should do to improve your CV, or or whatever crosses your mind. And we also started doing some outreach. So um, we, for example, look it for scientific societies and scientific talks in pubs, in local pubs, that we could join and start giving our own presentations and funny monologues sometimes. But uh, I think we didn't do anything before the, the coronavirus started. And we also look it for high schools and universities that could be interested in our seminars and talks. Two or two or of members, uh, Javi and Raquel, they even tutored for a whole year, one student needs with a, a collaborative program between the Senio and, and their high school. So that was quite nice. And luckily, these activities, especially the ones related to students and high schools, had to stop after uh, COVID started. And finally, we had social events. I would say had, had because um, coronavirus stop it everything. So we used to meet colleagues, usually after the meetings, have some beers, have fun, discuss about whatever, uh, making friendships, and someone even found new flatmates. So they were quite interesting. Uh, this was stopped, but now in our last meeting we decided, I'm just over it, uh, we decided that we are uh, taking them back. So after this symposium, a few days later, we will have our first uh, social event in a long, long time. And you are all welcome to come if you are from Madrid. So join the node, join our Slack channel and stay posted so to make sure that you don't miss them.
And with this, I think it's over. I, that's all I have to talk to you about. And thanks so much for your attention. I will leave you now with my colleagues from the Canary Islands. And have a nice symposium. a PhD student from the University of La Laguna in Tenerife and I am the current Canary Island No Leader and the Secretary of RSG Spain. So this is Canary Load, let's start with our presentation. It all started in 2018 during the Thix Bioinformatic Student Symposium where some of our current members, Adrian, Luis and myself, were to share some results and do Congress stuff. That was when we heard about the regional student group for the very first time and something about it sound right. So we decided to join and spread the word on the Canary Island, that part of Spain inside the Blue Barrier. Thanks to the help of Carla Hiner, former president of RSG Spain, we had our first official local meeting of RSG Canary Island in a bar of La Laguna. After that, we tricked some people from our lab to try, and almost three years later, here we are, more than 10 students from several research groups on board on this common project. First, we started locally in activities such as Macaro Night 2019, where Tamara and Anna prepared a street strand to talk about the RSG, what bioinformatics are, and how to become a bio bioinformatician as a part of a main genetic stand. Later that year, some of us went to Madrid to attend the 7th symposium organized by the RSG Spain because, among other things, I had a short talk about some results of my PhD obtained thanks to the use of bi bioinformatics. And it was very nice and fun congress. To conclude 2019, we gave a short talk during the 13th Jornadas de Genetica organized by the Genetic Department of the University of La Laguna, where people gather yearly to learn about genetics. Also, we participated in another workshop called Jornadas de Introducción a la Genómica y a la Bioinformática. Flash forward to 221, skipping a pandemic year, we returned to our activities. During this last year, we have been in several high schools talking about bioinformatics and our personal experience in biology and informatics degrees. How we are, where we are now, how we are here, what we are doing. So, in general, we are doing bioinformatics. Besides that, and our respective PhDs, during this last year, two of us have contributed with a short communication to the RSG Spain web about working with Jupyter Notebooks in Bioinformatics. So, just have a look on the RSG Spain website. Also, during this year, we have participated in the organization of this year's symposium as a part of the Organizing and Abstract Revision Committee and Logo Design. As for today, we have lots of ideas for the months to come and we hope to bring Bioinformatics to the forefront of new generations. We will continue with more articles to the RSG Spain website, we will give more talks in different high schools, and of course we will become a Spanish Society of Bioinformatics and Computational Biology member. So, what are you waiting for? And finally, if you are a student living on the Canary Island, interested in us and what we do, and you want more information about bioinformatics and us, do not hesitate to contact and join us. Thank you very much for listening. From Tenerife, we hope you all enjoy the symposium. Okay. We hope you liked all the presentations. And I don't know if you have any question you want to ask any of us, me or one of the node leaders. I think Monica has problems with the connection, but she is near. So if you have any question for her, we can also. No questions? 
we've been too clear <laughs> for everyone. Okay, if you have any any question or any doubt, you okay, we have a question. Uh, hi Sarah, thanks for asking. How did organizing these notes assist you in your development as a student? Okay, I think this is a really great question. Um I think I don't know, I, I've been organizing I'm talking personally now. I've been organizing this kind of events or participation in this kind of associations and I, I was in, in university. And I think it's, it prepares you for a lot of stuff, not only for work, but for how to organize uh, things, how to interact with, um, with enterprises or, or with uh, public uh, institutions or with other members or with keynotes. It, it helps you improve your networking a lot. And, and how to grow as a person and as a professional. I think it's uh, really interesting for anyone to, to 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 organize these kind of things. Someone, Adriano, Tamara, Miguel. Well, in my case, in my experience, I think that these gatherings uh, are very, very necessary because, well, especially in bioinformatics, since it's a discipline that is continually, continually developing and with big jumps. The, for me, or at least in my experience, the only way to be uh, in the state of the art moment to understand what is happening, what is uh, the, the newest thing, the, the newest uh, scientific approaches in, in bioinformatics, is thanks to, to these small groups that we, we have online, or in, in, in our case in, in Spain, well, in Granada, thanks to the community that uh, we have created and all the different, uh, sorry, I don't know why the neighbor now is starting. So that's what I mean. I think that young people should be the first to gather around and probably they share the best experiences especially in bioinformatics, since it's very a very new discipline. Um, something more, uh, Tamara or Miguel? I don't have more to say. I think it's very necessary, as you mentioned, just to collaborate, to help each other, to do activities and yeah, to have been in communication. <laughs> Okay, so I hope we answered your question. Thank you very much for, for answering this. I think it's a, a great question. Thank you. And another one for Miguel. Uh, when is the Madrid social event going to take place? Um, can you share the Slack or any other social network link for RSG Madrid activities? Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, for the Slack part, uh, you need to uh, join us in the... Um, um, in our uh, website, you have the link for joining us, so you can uh, fill the Google Forms and then you'll get access to all of uh, communication channels. If you are already joining us and you haven't had have the Slack, Slack uh, link, uh, please write to, to rsgspain uh, at gmail.com. We are going to put it in the... Um, in the, chat, in the chat, so you can write us and we'll send you the link to the Slack uh, channel. And about the social event, Miguel, when is going to take place? I want to know too. Miguel, are you there? Miguel said that he's having some kind of, um, yeah, in, in his place, yes. He has, he has to attend something. Ah, okay. Okay, Silvia, so we'll, uh, we'll write you later uh, with the chat, okay? Or to your email and tell more about this. And anyone who wants to join this, uh, please write us and join us and you'll get all the information you, you need for this. Thank you very much. And another one. 
can you participate in activities of RSG event if you are not in Spain on a Spanish online event or some kind of scientific collab? Uh, yeah, sure, you can join us. You are really open about anything you, you want. So yes, write us uh, an email and, and we'll see how we can collaborate or just fill the Google Forms and we, as we've already said in the web page, we have the, the Google Forms link so we can be all registered and, and we can add you to our email listing. Although I, we will recommend you to try and encourage the, the bioinformatics, the informaticians around you and we can assist you to create your own node there in Vienna, I think. Yeah. I don't know if, uh, if there is an RSG in Austria or not, but yes, we can help you to create your uh, own node if there is an one or get in contact with, with anyone. And yes, also we, you can join us whenever you want, <laughs> of course. Okay, uh, so we are on time. Um, and we are going to finish this session and, and meet you all in a couple of minutes for the next session, which is going to be really fun. I'm getting very excited about it. It's going to be a survey, so uh, you will have all the Oslido uh, links, so you can um, enter it. And let's meet in a couple of minutes. We are going to end this session and start the other one. Thank you very much. All.